G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I've got some pretty exciting news to tell you guys, even though you've probably already seen it in the thumbnail. But, we've got Stingray Pops. Um, this is exciting. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, from what I can tell. I don't think I've missed any. Um, so this is exciting because I believe I had pure Matoro stingrays but these pups will kind of tell me um, there's one over there which maybe looks like it's got a pattern but we'll let, I'm gonna have to pull them out and put them in a basket and see but first of all we need baskets my pond is turning into a basket sanctuary. Um, why is the water level so low in the pond? Maybe this leak's got worse, guys. Hmm. Have to have a look at that. Alright, guys. So, we're building these on the floor because messy shed life. I sacrificed the styrofoam box, which I hate doing. And um, I basically categorized my styrofoam boxes and chose the least important one. But I still, to this day, I still haven't found where I can buy the, bo the styrofoam boxes for shipping. I still just use ones that I've got or that people give me. But it's going to get to the point where I have to buy them. So these baskets are great, right, except they've got handle holes. So you just cover the handle hole with styrofoam, kill two birds with one stone. Handle hole covered. Floaty device attached. Um, I love these baskets guys, they're a game changer. Um, I've got at least 10 now I think. I don't even know where I got these ones from. I was literally just thinking about what I could put these rays in and I looked up on the shelf and there was these two roundish ones. I have no idea where I purchased these from. That's how good my memory is. Alright, let's go put these in. So I've already put one in just before. Um, here's number two. The pond's getting pretty full of baskets now. I feel sorry for the giant Garami because he struggles to get... He can't get under the baskets. But, um... He works around it. Where is he? Hey, you know what fish I haven't seen? Remember that barrel we threw in there? Were you guys here for that? Did I film it? Oh, the barrel's still alive. That's good because somebody gave me that. I'd hate to like lose a fish the day someone gives it to you. Um, there's a garami. Look, he just, he doesn't even really fit under the baskets. He does kinda. Anyway, this pond is changing real soon guys. The weather's warming up. I'm going to borrow or buy a, a tub and put it out there and move everything out and fix this thing. It's going to be a hell of a job but I need to do it. There is another option. The other option is just to reseal the windows but I don't know. I don't like the stainless steel look. I want it to be blue again. It looked baller when it when I first did it, so I'll probably do it again. Uh, all right, let's catch these rays. All right, guys. So I've been told not to take ray pups out of the water. I don't I don't know whether that's true or a myth, but I'm I'm not going to. I'm going to catch them, put them in the bucket, transfer them via the bucket to the pond.
park as they're in the tubs. Um, one male, five females. Like, what are the chances of that? Last time I got three males. Um, the sad news is, but I don't think they're pure Matoro. I'm not... I'm just guessing here, but that's going to be a pattern. So, spot, 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 spot. I'm pretty sure that's pattern. Um, I'll wait and let it grow a bit. I'll send a couple of photos to a couple of friends and see what they think, but that's I'm excited that I got ray pops but if that is a pattern that means that they're not pure Matoro and I'm hugely disappointed but let me send a couple of messages and we'll see so I found a fresh fresh leak on the pond so I got the underwater silicon out and I got I got some in there oh, sorry guys I didn't film it I just got caught up in the moment, and um, I wore a, I put a glove on. I ended up taking it off and just using my hands. I could feel like a couple of um, holes in the silicon where this pipe goes in. So I jammed some of this in there, and um, I'm pretty sure I got it. So when I redo the pond, I'm going to put a fresh layer of fiberglass in the freezer as well um i really rushed getting this pond going guys i don't know if i've ever told you the story but basically someone put an offer down on my eight foot tank in the house and it was like hang on i'll turn the camera around so what happened guys someone put an offer in on my eight foot tank it was an offer i really couldn't refuse it was um i think it was seventeen hundred dollars which is well, which was a good price for how the market was doing at the time. So I rushed to get that pond done for my raise. I mean, I had it, uh, that filter, everything. I did it all in like a week. And the guy was meant to pick the tank up on the Sunday. And it was just MIA, completely MIA. Like to this day, he hasn't posted anything on his Facebook. Um... I don't know what the go is. I, I actually, I don't. From uh, like a bit of a rumor I've heard, he got into trouble with the law. I don't know if it's true or not, but I believe it's true because his Facebook just became completely stationary. He didn't block me. Um, it was a really bizarre situation. Anyway, I'm pretty sure you guys can see the reflection of that situation on the pond. Um, I hate rushing things and not doing it properly and this is what's happened I have to do it again on that note if anybody in Perth has a 5,000 litre it doesn't even have to be five three to five thousand litre um, round like aquaponics tubs that I could borrow for probably two to three weeks um, hit me up I'm, I'm keen I'll pay in beers or cash or whatever whatever you want I just don't want to buy one it's so, like it'd be a dumb dumb purchase um, beyond that I could get some IBCs and put the rays in them but what am I going to do get nine IBCs I don't really want to put more than one ray in an IBC there's no floor space um, anyway I'm going to try put some of this around one of the windows um, I'm not going to film it because it's in a really awkward position even if I put the tripod on all you're going to see is the back of my head so I'm going to do that and get back to you. Alright guys, I tried to seal the window a bit and it just wasn't working. Um, the silicon that I had, it does stick better than normal silicon underwater, but it definitely doesn't stick stick. So, yeah, it was a dumb idea. That needs to be pulled apart. But, I thought I might mow the back lawn and what better way to end the fucking... What do you call it? And today's vlog with a bit of rod knock. Have you guys, for you who haven't heard this lawnmower, have a listen. She's a fucking beauty.
Hang on. Slight wheel of fortune. Anyway. Uh, I'm just going to keep using it until it dies. There's no point throwing it in the bin until it stops. And even when it does stop, I might try to get a... I don't know. No, I'm not going to try to get a motor for it. That's a dumb idea. I'll probably just pick up a $50 motor and might swap the motor over to this chassis if this chassis is in better nick. On that note guys, I'm going to wrap today's video up um, and mow my back lawn. I hope you enjoyed it. A couple of random things. Ray Pops, yes, very exciting. I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know what I'm up to. Peace out.